Today's episode features caravan conversion of a 4020 wheelbase traveler. You'll see that most of the amenities inside this caravan are similar to our existing creations Shiloh and Willow, but with manual functions, making this a budget friendly conversion. It is registered from Haryana Gurugram. Now, this is India's first caravan monocoque shell registered as per ARI norms. Hello adventure lovers and welcome to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to an election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. Behind us is a 4020 wheelbase traveler that has been customized according to client specification, converting this into a home on wheels, seating and sleeping six people on board, apart from the driver cabin. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. Our client who got this customized wanted to have something bold, something that was visible from afar, which is why we painted it in a Nexa metallic blue color with a gloss finish. The front fascia has been customized similar to what we have done in Willow, but the design is a bit different and I don't know if it's just me, but I think it looks more like Lofty from Bob the Builder. I hope somebody in the video can get the reference. Moving to the cabin area. So our cabin is in a contrasting color of beige and white. We have music system, battery operated light, fans on both the sides and the control panel as well as the free flow AC unit. Now you'll see that this is unlike most of our caravans wherein we have a hard partition in the cabin and the salon area. Here we have a sliding window and on top of that you'll see there are four mounts which can be used to hook a drop down manual bed. Now moving to the rear driver's side, the existing tires of the base vehicle have been upgraded to 215 75R tires, 17.5 mm rim. Up top we have cameras on all fours, the windows are concealed throughout giving it a clean look. This is the fuel tank inlet, this right here is your inlet to a 250 litre fresh water tank which has been stored inside and under the caravan. It can also be upgraded to a 300 litre fresh water tank but considering the washrooms that we create, the commode only uses 300 ml per flush for which a 250 litre fresh water tank is sufficient if you use the water well that is and you should. Moving to the rear we have our ladder giving us access to the rooftop. We have a spare tire. Opening the rear door it looks like we have nothing. This right here is our slide out kitchen counter. We have a two top burner FRP based sink and that right there is our pipe. The backsplash has also been made using the same materials. These right here are your storage spaces to store your groceries. We also have one on each of the door. This right here is your inlet to the LPG, the cold and hot water supply and up top we have a gas geyser to provide you water in the bathroom as well as kitchen area. Now this is the awning setup. As you can see on the top you also have an awning which marks the completion of the kitchen area. Here we have our storage space for the external power hookup which is also the genset in this case. There's an awning that you can open, close and increase the height of. Now we are standing right outside our entryway. 
But before we head in, you'll notice that in this caravan, the roof is a bit different. And that is because our client was concerned about the height that's there on the inside. To which we shared the possibility of giving a pop top roof. Yes, the same pop top that you have seen in our conversion Vagabond 2022. In case you missed to walk through that conversion, we'll make sure to link it down below. So popping the top is actually a safe and practical manner wherein you do have the height that you need but at the time when the caravan is static. We recommended that and it is our duty to provide full facts but at the end it's the client's requirement, it's the client's specification and they wanted to have a permanent roof raise because of budget purposes. Now let's move on the inside. The first area that we encounter after we enter is our lounge space. We have a full size sofa opposite of which we have two individual sofa spaces along with our armrest which also has space to store your water bottle and some knickknacks now these wooden indents or locks that you're seeing here are not here just for the purpose of contrasting elements we have our panels stored on the back which you can place up top to convert this space into a comfortable sleeping space of up to four or three people we also have a pop-top table and some standard amenities in here are smart tv smart music system there's a 7 ton free flow ac unit as well as a 1.1 ton static ac now this on the top is your manual drop down bed we have provided something similar to this in our caravan royal cadet as well as willow and shiloh but this one is a manual fixture so our client they wanted to cut up on the budget which is why they opted for something that's manual which requires manpower instead of opting something that we have provided in shiloh which can be worked by pressing a button moving to another feature we have is a big hatch so you can see that most of the windows actually all the windows are concealed which is why most of the times we get a feedback that it feels really very claustrophobic on the inside thus we have provided a hatch up top now this hatch can be open when the caravan is moving providing you fresh air but also if you want to have a fixture in your existing caravan of a lift that you can store inside the sofa space you can also convert it into a campaign, election campaign vehicle or a wildlife photography vehicle. This here is our pantry area. We have a microwave, a fridge and a bar top, more so a fancy glass holder. We have this cool cutout which eliminates any blockage from any point of view. Moving on, we have our wardrobe here which has a hidden compartment storing the AC in. Now moving to Motorhome Adventures staple, the washroom area. So we have a detailed video containing information about the technology we use in creating the washrooms as well as an article which is mentioned in our website which you can view through the link in the description box below. Now here we have a FRP based sink with an extended shower arm. We have a urinal so that the ladies won't have to worry about using a dirty commode. We have a good size mirror and some other accessories are towel hanger, toothbrush holder, soap holder as well as an exhaust. The technology in the commode that we use which is the pneumatic activating wall waste technology is the reason why we can get away with using only 300 ml of water per flush so if you want to get this or similar unit customized in your existing new or old vehicle you can definitely get that moving to our final area which is the rear lounging space we have a full-size sofa that can easily seat up to three people and up top we have another manual drop down bed Apart from that, from my point of view, I can see that we have a smart music system. We have the free flow AC unit, which 
is going to spread the air in here in this area as well we have our lights a charging socket a usb socket we have blinds throughout the caravan on each of the window and that marks the end of this conversion so we keep on saying that in this caravan we have many features and fixtures that are similar to our existing conversion shiloh and willow for example this whole area is similar to the rear deck that we have in willow but only this is a static space whereas in willow we had an expandable deck as i said in the beginning this unit was customized as per our client specifications from the quilting of sofa to the technical amenities to the overall floor plan each and everything was customized keeping their requirement and their budget in mind meaning there's a room for creation for each and every budget and if you want to get this model or a similar model customized you can visit www.caravanconversion.com or tap on the link mentioned in the description box below also if you are interested in getting caravan built now if you're getting it built from our end you can also earn from it yes you heard it right if you're getting a caravan on a commercial number we will also be mentioning it on our portal which means if you're not getting the use of your caravan 365 days a year you need not to worry because we are going to further book it for you further if you're growing keen on how the life in a caravan is going to look like or how a vacation a weekend getaway in a caravan is going to look like you can visit www.moodhome.co.in to rent a caravan or you can also tap on the link mentioned in the description box below and that does it for this video we hope you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up it means a lot to us and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversions and travel videos in the home away home on wheels motorhome adventures signing off